Hello, buddy, welcome back to another episode of Just I'm playing Buck Fables the Everlasting Sapling. Last episode we did some things. And in this episode we're gonna go and do some more things. I found a bad book. Have I found another bad book? No. But there is an item over here, a lore book. <laughs> wow, what a joke. Did I check this out before? What a masterful painting. It truly captures Elizan's graceful demeanor. Grace, huh? I guess the new queen is more of a power aura. Hmm, Alexandra was as kind as they came. Even some monsters uh, would be friendly in her presence. Her voice was soothing, and she saw the future in a bright light. It must have been an honor. I must say, I'm envious uh, of you having met her. Aren't you giving the new queen too much of a rough time, though? Of all the people to defend her, we didn't expect it to be you. Well, she has a super big reputation to live up to, and a lot of bugs uh, who didn't accept her from the start. A lot of political and social issues forced her hand too, which you could even say Elizan's passing gave way to. We know, we know things are never as simple as good queen, bad queen. But it's still difficult to accept. We can't pledge loyalty just yet. Just yet, huh? As long as you're willing to keep an open mind, she may surprise you. <sighs> Until then, we have this painting to come back to. Yeah, I did not find this. Hey there, I have a lore book from your own library. <laughs> I have another lore book over here. Hey, would you look at that, I have another lore book. Let's see... Lesser Barbs. After the Day of Awakening, many bugs changed form. We evolved to be able to live as we do now. But not all bugs evolved. Some remain untouched by the Awakening. We call them Lesser Bugs. Spiders, mitches, weevils, and, uh, and some others did not gain sentience. They remained unchanged. The causes for that are still being researched, but unless another Day of Awakening happens, it will be difficult to study the changes. However, it's been uh, concluded lesser bugs have become more ferocious and will attack bugs that come near them. It is said that the sapling was a creation of the roaches. The legends of the sapling have brought the first settlers to Bagaria, bringing upon the creation of the ant kingdom. According to legends, it is said that eating even one of these leaves will grant immortality to the bug that eats it. Our only clue to its whereabouts are artifacts mentioned in ancient texts. They say one resides in Snake Mouth then, but its dangers have proven too much to conquer. Was it really made by the roaches? Could it, have co uh, could it have caused the roaches to vanish? I hope this chapter of history will be cleared up in my lifetime. Rumors say that during Elizanne the First rule, roaches that lived in Snake Mouth then were faced with a sudden demise. In one night, all the roaches that lived there were gone, and fungi monsters appeared. Expeditions sent, uh, sent have always suffered losses, so the search for the reason was put on halt. Snake Mouth then is rumored to be a host to many ancient crystals. Could that be the cause? Alright. Let me go and check out the throne room, though, because there was an item in the throne room somewhere. Right, because, yeah, my, my thing is going off of here. I can actually dig over here. That's amazing. I feel like it... I feel like it might be, like, behind this freaking... Things over here. Right? <laughs> Excuse me for a moment while I... Um... Hmm... Interesting. There is an item over here somewhere. I just have no idea. I don't think I can get it right now. And I also feel like there's some very important stuff behind these, uh... These, uh... Pieces of tapestry. So that is something very interesting to uh, come back to later on. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go over here. Now that I'm thinking about it, while I'm just here, I might as well just go and get some things. So let's go and unearth you. And get the crystal berry. So, is that the only item, or is there another item over here that I can get? Still. Let's see. No, okay. So it does count the, uh, the, the little things. Another area I want to go and check out right now. Is this area again, because I remember there being a crack in here. There's also a crack in Middle Island, which I should probably go and check out. At some point. Hello. Goodbye. Alright, so there's an item over here, but there's actually just an item behind... ...that crack over there, I think. Get away from me, please. Goodbye. Goodbye. 
Berserker Metal. <laughs> Increase an ally's attack by 3, but makes them unable to use skills. Blocking items uh, relay or be relayed too. Ah, oh, yes, the Berserker badge. <laughs> or the Berserker Metal in this game. Quite intriguing indeed. Crap. I don't want to deal with this. Sorry, not up. And I won't lose any money from it because I have the, the, the one thing. Right. Let us move on. Well, I'll have to get back up or so. <laughs> I'm pressing the B button, by the way. I'm just... Yeah, there we go. I have to wait for the shield to appear. Alright. Ooh. <laughs> Give me that berry. And let's go and help out some town some townsfolk. So, uh Wait, there was something right, let me go and <laughs> Let me go and dig something up over here. One on the ground. Crystal Berry. Right, let's go back over here. I love completing games, man. I just love it too much. I cannot leave items unchecked. It is very difficult for me. Let's see, there's nothing else, right? Nope. Okay. Nicer. So, uh. Let's go and grab one of them berries. I want to take out my Tanji berry. Tanji! Hey, sir. Ah, you're the ones who took my request, right? I need a Tanji berry to cook my newest idea. However, they are really rare. It is rumored to you that uh, only golden seedlings carry them. If you ever find one, bring it to me. Uh, bring it back to me and I will cook you my greatest dish. Here for the quick request. Hand it. <laughs> Hand it over. <laughs> oh, you actually found one. All right, then leave it to me. Here it is by Magnum Opus. Tanji Carpaccio. 12 HP to the party. This is a dish only I can make. Just bring me a Tanji Berry and I should prepare it for you. Free of charge. Thank you very much for this. That's a freaking amazing item. Um, I feel like I want to not hold on to that for now. Yeah, I'm gonna put that with like my really powerful items over here. There we go. And you don't buy anything because you're stupid. So I cannot sell any of my items. <laughs> because you're stupid. But... Hey, buddy. <laughs> By the spicy berries of the land, your horn. Are you guessing that rock did this to you? <laughs> oh, you gotta tell us what happens, or we can't help. <laughs> Fine, I'll tell you. I was gonna break the rock to be the strongest, but then my horn broke. It doesn't hurt or anything, but some bandit snapped it. I can't heal it. What could bandits possibly do with your horn? <laughs> Don't ask me, but I need it, or I can't break the rock. That should be the least of your worries. Look, just leave it to us. We'll get it back from the bandits. Try not to break anything else until we return. Here's your horn, buddy. Yay! You really got it! I'm all patched up now. Alright, now. You should definitely rest. I'm gonna go do it. I'm gonna break the rock. W wait! Let's see. Is he gonna break the rock and allow us to get some new things? That would be quite nice. It's you, thank you so much. Now I can break this rock. I implore you to reconsider. You've hurt yourself already. Nah, I'm gonna do it. Just watch. Got a mightier pebble medal. <laughs> Grand Scout with a boulder toss skill, which can target airborne enemies. Well, it's not quite broken, but... I did it. I broke the rock. A champion of the people. So much honor. C congrats 
I can rest now, I deserve it uh, for working so hard. See ya, and thanks. <laughs> Let's see, uh, Pebble Plus. Or Mightier Pebble. It's three then, okay. Uh... Let's see. Ba -ba -da -boom -boom. There's also this over here. Which is a pretty freaking nice thing. If I want to survive a single attack. Well... I don't know. So what else do I have equipped that I might want to get rid of? Well, I think during boss battles I'll get rid of stuff like spy specs and secure parts and crazy prepared. Right. But for the moment, let us... Uh, oh no, it's a digging minigame, isn't it? Welcome to the one and only Wacker Farms. Here you can play Wacker Worm to win berries. Get over 24 for, uh, five worms for a special prize. Hey, buddy. Ah, where are the customers? Been a while since anyone came. Might have, might have to close down at this rate. Uh, excuse us. What is it? Can't you see I'm... Wait, are you customers? Depends. What do you do here? Oh, welcome. Welcome to Wacker Farms. Here, we play a popular game called Wacker Worm. Oh, that's the game we played at the festival. Yeah, the festival hosts it sometimes, but you can play it here whenever you want. It's 10 berries for a try, and depending on your, uh, on your, uh, of your score, you can win quite a few berries uh, or items back. So, are you interested in playing Wacker Worm? It's 10 berries for a try. Alright, please get in the arena so we can start. Right. Wacker Worm. Son of a bitch. Yeah, if you get too close to the worms, they will disappear. So That's the thing that happened to me when I played this minigame originally. On the festival, of course. God dang it. <laughs> These buggers are fast. I also suck at aiming the boomerang. Oh, I got 26. Jeez. Was it 25 or over 25? I don't know. But I got 26, so I'm fine. Whoa, you hit over 25. That's a really hard feat. It's not 30 worms, but still super impressive. Ha, huh, it was nothing for me. There you go, this is a special prize. Heartberry. Ah, thank you for playing. Come back again. So, there's a thing for 30, eh? That's interesting. Okay. Probably increases an ally's HP. I want to give it to Kabu. Kabu could definitely use a lot of HP. So, I probably get something amazing for 30, which is going to be quite difficult to do. Oh well, I guess we'll see how it's going to go. You know, if I can actually hit a freaking worm. Damn you worms! Another 25, okay, yeah. I did miss a lot of times though. I should get some berries back now, right? Get 25 berries, okay. Good. Means that I can just continue trying until I get 30. I like the fact that there's like a space for three numbers. <laughs> the game giving you like the thing, the, the idea of like, hey, you can get a hundred of these freaking worms. There might also be like a crazy. Ah, crap. 
It could also be like a crazy optional mode where you do it for like an hour or something. <laughs> that seems like an insane thing and I would not do that. It is kind of annoying that you, like that they go away if you get too close to them. That's in my opinion one of the most difficult things in this minigame. Makes it so that I can't just willy nilly throw my boomerang around. Or willy nilly run over to worms. I got 30! <laughs> nice. <laughs> 30 worms! 30! <laughs> More farm. What was that? A special code for a special menu. That's the reward? And you figured out it's worth it. How oh, mysterious. No, oh, and take these too. Thank you for playing. Come back again. A secret menu? A secret menu. Um. For like a shop or something? Hmm. Let me go and talk to what's his face over here. Uh, no. Huh. Hello? No. Intriguing. <laughs> uh. I'm a little bit confused. So, who needed the quest done for... Uh... This thing over here? That's in the fine trade, okay. Interesting that. <laughs> who needs that freaking... <laughs> who needs that special menu thing? I don't think it there's I don't think it's anything over here though. It's a special menu, I've no idea where or how. Oh well. I guess I'll leave it for now then. So when it comes to quests, let me go and take a look. Because we have these requests, which requires a lot of money. And then this over here. And yeah, the rest all all the rest is in in the fine route. So let me go and run towards the vine tree. Yeah, it would be nice, but I need my money. I really do. There's no going around that. Also, can I dig underneath this door? <laughs> it's not soft dirt, so no. <laughs> That's a big nope. Right, you're not somebody who I needed to help, right? Careful, okay. You also didn't need... No, okay. You, however, in here needed something. Ah, it's too hot. Isn't there an ancient fan in here? Uh, no. You must be enemy. Ah, yep, that's me. How may we help you combat this heat spell? Me freezer up. Wow, what a nice breeze. Mission complete. Pay up. W wait, it's already hot again. I'm super thankful, but I need something that will last after you're gone. Hmm. Perhaps an umbrella or some sort of ointment to shield you from the sun's rays? I'll take anything, really, please. I'm begging you. So much for the easy check. We'll find something, so sit tight. Try not to uh, work yourself up until then. Something that to help against the heat. Um, I don't have anything of that type. 
Right, of course. A scientist thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's so much stuff happening in a certain way, and I, I, I don't know. Let's see. Hello? Can I try anything? I'm just gonna be talking to people to hope that I can get some info. Or. Maybe not particularly info, just to see if I can get some other quest stuff and needing to give people items and all that jazz. So there's still an item in here that I haven't gotten quite yet. Which is quite peculiar. Ah, right, I see. So yeah, I don't have a key for uh, this locking mechanism. This is the poison shop over here, right? Yeah. Can I sell things at you? At your place? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I cannot. I can, however, over here, I think. Over at this place. Hello. Yes, thank you. We can have this crunchy leaf. Yes. We can have this poison dart, because I don't use those. And this danger spot. There we go. Okay. And the rest is a... Uh, Fine for the moment, depending on what I run into. Hello. I think... Can't believe it, my baby, my hand made extremely high quality silk. It's gotta be Kali. Excuse us, miss. Whatever could you want, can't you see I'm devastated? We're here to help. You need not suffer any longer, could you tell us what happened? Ah, explorers, please excuse me. I've been very on edge. I have ample reason to believe bandits have stolen my silk. Not any silk, yes. This one costs both time and many bears to manufacture. The bandits have really done a number in the fine trade. Leave it to us. You'll be uh, you'll be able to craft again soon. So dashing, please return it before they ruin it. You got it. Start getting that reward ready. Ah, oh, my baby, my hand made extremely high quality silk. It did. Uh, it did feel incredibly uh, incredible carrying it back here. Miss Collie, did you truly create such an ex ex exquisite texture? That's right, silks and the wondrous items of fashion and leisure, uh, it can be woven into our, my absolute passion. It's gotta be worth a fortune, no wonder it got stolen. A fortune? Ha! Huh, you cannot put a price on a masterpiece. As though I'll have you know, my prices are very economical, darlings. This place is so cool, though. Never seen this big wheel before. But wait, uh, do be very careful with that face, my dear. It's a gift from a client very close to me. Incredible, your work touches the hearts of the wearers. Not strongly. Shame we're not, uh, we're not much into fashion. I'm itching to get back to work, so... Please, let me reward you for all you've done for the shop. The lore book. <sighs> and you all seem absolutely exhausted, you poor things. Brief this in, my darlings. It could it should soothe and fix your wounds with ease. Oh, thank you so much. Huh? The smoke? I... Cough, 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 hack. <laughs> v, watch out! Hachu, oh... <sighs> Sorry, the smoke makes me really dizzy. <laughs> the face was a one-of-a-kind design from... It shattered, ruined, obliterated. Oh, it is the worst day of my life. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, it's not enough. It's time to show you the consequence of touching things that do not belong to you. <laughs> Stop it, I said I'm sorry. What's this smoke? Dude. V leaf. <laughs> Come hither, my dear beetle. What is going on, my body? A surprise you could you could resist my charms, oh blue one. I digress. Come, my knight, let's give these two a proper thrashing. <laughs> Kaba, what do you think you're doing? You're gonna betray us over this? I can't control my body. <laughs> a puppet on silken strings. Now let's begin, shall we? Uh, this is an issue. <laughs> Since when do you have 30 HP, buddy? Friggin' cheater. Right. Spy on Kabu. Yeah, sure. Tch, chemistry be darned, Kali. This trick is beyond despicable. Kabu's our friend. We must seek an alternative to this. He's put us in a real jam. Kali is more formidable than we ever expected. Doesn't help she's boosting poor, uh, she's bo boosting poor, or boasting. 
Uh, poor Kapu. We should put an end to that. Um, I guess I'll try doing Fidget Coffin on her. Okay. Um, and then I guess Hurricane Toss. Yeah, sure. And taunting me. Ouch. And I'm buffing him. I see. Gonna fidget Kopner again. And she can only attack Kabu. For a massive one damage. And yeah. There we go. <laughs> This is gonna be pretty dang interesting. Uh, yeah, you cannot. You can only attack him. I guess I can do Hurricane Toss again. Um, what's her face? And then I go and attack Kawa. Sure. Won't get stunned again, that's for sure. Uh, Needle Toss doesn't do much there. Ouch. Okay, I think it's time to go and heal. Um, do I need to heal? I, I don't feel like I need to heal uh, my TP. Nicer. <laughs> I'm gonna heal him, huh? You should probably think about healing yourself. I hope that knocking her out is gonna make Kabu fine. Ah, I, I yield. <laughs> there we go. This one was unnecessary. We could have replaced the vase. Extremely unnecessary. Please don't control my body. I'm sorry. That smoke made me dizzy. I couldn't help it. Uh, Alright. I apologize as well, my dears. It's quite uncouth of me to lose my temper. Let's put this behind us. Hmm? Water in the oasis, uh, as it were. I'll see if uh, Botomi can fix the vase. Fine with us. We're too lazy to press charges. I'll stay super far from that fixed one. Promise. Despite the downward turn, we hope you uh, we hope you make great things with that silk, Kali. Oh, I assure you, I can and will, my dear knight. Please remove yourselves from my shop, if you'll be so kind. Well, that's not really what I expected would happen, but <laughs> sure. Okay. Uh, I need to heal up. I also kind of want to... I'm not going to buy any healing items at the moment, because I have other ideas. You took my request, didn't you? Read it. Beats and bandits. Is that it? Yes, these bastard bandits. I will never forgive them. Please, I cannot go myself. I have my reasons. Besides, I am not equipped for it. Leave it to us. We will teach those evildoers a lesson. You have my gratitude. I need you to defeat at least 20 of them. Any of them will do. Be it dra the dragonflies, the crickets, the ladybugs, whichever. Just beat them up so they stop, uh, stop attacking the citizens of the fine route. You got it. Just have a reward ready when we're back. As long as they stop attacking us, we shall receive your reward. Or you shall receive your reward. Notify me once you've beaten 20 of them. Um. That's annoying. Oh well. <laughs> so be it. I wonder if just running into them is going to count. I think I'll just go and fight them normally then. Let's go and fight these, uh... Bandits normally. This way I can also get some more money. And I do think I'll meet you guys once I'm done with this, because this is probably gonna take me some time. You know what, while I was doing this, I decided to also just go and re-thread the desert a little bit to find these enemies. And since I'm over here right now, I'm gonna go and dig this up. <laughs> there we go. I don't think there's anything else at the moment. No, it's fine. I'll meet you guys once again, but I'm done. Okay, 
So, after committing a mass bandit genocide, I got the 20 kills that I needed. I also have a lot of money right now, so I can actually continue V's uh, request. But first, let us go and check out the other things. I'm also going to save my game because, my god, do I, will... do I not want to do that again? <laughs> Okay. Uh, yep, yeah, that was in here. Hello. You've done it, haven't you? I can tell their foul deeds have become less frequent. Good job. Justice has in fact been delivered. If only I had more to give, here's what I promised you. Free citizen medal. Once more, you have my gratitude. Now at least she can rest easy. Or she can... Now at least she can rest easy now. Wow. That is not correct. No problem, take care of yourself. It'll be much easier now. Stay safe during your travels. Hello. Uh, Miss But- Butomu? We've seen your listing. Is that so, noble explorers? You found the crimson ore? No. Hmm, well, I'll be waiting for your fine results. Uh, let's see. So many freaking things. Feast request is- yeah, okay. Uh, it's too hot. Hmm. Then ore won it. Uh, Stream Mountains Peak. Okay, I see. Okay, so that is in the ant town, I think. Check out my mecha claw. <laughs> okay, let's go and give the money to... Uh, to V's sister. So that we can buy that house and maybe see what's inside the house because who knows right hello i would like to go back to the b place let's see um this is the art gallery i think I've never been in an art gallery. So, you finally come crawling back. Oh no, this is her sister. Then the other person was somebody. Wait, huh? No? I, I don't know. John. Miss, we... Let's give it to some space, Kabu. What do you want? I'm busy. The Queen's commissioned me for a birthday piece. That horrendous art you hate so much is doing quite well. That's uh, pretty cool. My team and I had the school mission at the factory. The factory? You're the one with stuff the lockdown. Not that I'm impressed. So you managed to squeeze your way into an exploration team. Color me shocked. Didn't expect it uh, from such a petite child. You're still gonna treat me like a kid? Yes, if only I, I, I was crass enough to treat you with half the disrespect you've shown me your whole life. I came to say sorry, but you're making it really hard. I don't want your empty apologies. You seem to be doing quite well anyways, ain't you? Just go, play with your team or whatever. I've got my issues to solve. S seriously? You're kicking me out? I'm saying sorry. I've got to finish this piece, but I can't find any any red paint. That's all uh, That's all I can afford uh, to worry about now. I certainly can't waste my time. With a mean, greedy, selfish child like you. Fine, you're dumb anyways. I was, ev uh, I I was even gonna say your art got better. You've said enough about my art for a lifetime, V. Just leave me alone. This isn't going well. We're leaving. V. Now. Okay. God, what the heck? There's no way to treat family. Just what did you do to her? I told her she drew like a weevil. V, what in place? You can't just go around saying that sort of thing. Wanna show me this is a new type of insult? Well, she called me stuff too weak, short, coward. Couldn't talk about exploring uh, without her ta talking down on me. Exploring is extremely dangerous. Men would lose someone dear to a bad trip. Couldn't she simply have been worried? Whatever. If you still want to fix things, we have an idea. We uh, don't want you sad. Yeah? She mentioned some red paint, right? That's pretty hard to get. It's out of season a season or something. Let's get it for her. That is a fantastic idea. You're right. She'd be too uh, she'd be too heavy to get mad. Maybe the, then we can have an actual conversation. <laughs> Where could we start searching? I know little of paint. I don't know either, but uh, it's made in the golden sediment, right? We could just take the tunnel and check it out when we're free. 
then let's keep that in mind. John seems to, to need it quite badly. Alright, let's get a move on. Okay. So, <laughs> I was actually talking to the wrong person. <laughs> okay, nice. Well, who cares. Now, isn't your buddy back? Yeah. That's... You must show it to the professor right away. No, Hawk is back. One and full. He said you helped him. Yeah, did we get a reward? No way, you already have my stolen prototype. And what more? Yeah. Come on, V. Helping is its own. It's our reward. Yeah, I've heard it before. Heh, <laughs> you're so ungrateful, but I actually do have something for you. As long as you're willing to gather some more data for me. Take this. The ADPP Enhancer Medal. Increase the amount of times uh, some boomerang skills can hit. Ah, oh, more data stuff? So boring. Just be grateful I let you keep that prototy uh, the prototype at all. Now get out before I lose my patience. Wait, what's that? Uh, what? Is that handed? <laughs> Hand it over. <laughs> the chomper seed, yeah. But I thought that's a chomper seed. Indeed, it was left behind by a mother chomper. Fad fascinating. Do you know how uncommon it is for seeds to not bloom immediately? Hawk, hawk, come here, quick! Have I heard correctly? You actually found an unhatched chomper seed? Indeed, with this, maybe. Yes, yes, maybe we can make it work. What What will work? Shut it and watch. Come here. I've been, prepa I've been preparing this for years. In front of you, you see what I call a chomper vat. That's just a huge chunk of glass. Yes, this place is just a compact environment where chompers thri thrive. With this, we can plant that seed right here in the lab. So, you wish for a pet chomper? Pets? I don't have time for that. This is science! <sighs> if we can somehow study how the chompers are born and, and their lifestyles outside of chomping bugs, it would help us understand them more and maybe even pacify them in the future. Sure, I really don't get how, though. Is it worth it? Just getting them to stop attacking travelers is a huge boon to bug them. We can't study them without great risk, but here we can observe them easily. We do find chompers cute. Here's hoping this works. That's what I like to hear. It's the moment of truth. Success, it lives! It lives! N impressive. This chomper looks a bit different though, doesn't it? Hmm. My guess is that this is... You said that you got this seed from a mother chomper? Yeah, it was super big, super strong mama chomper. And I only assume that this, uh, that this small one was supposed to be the next in the line for repetition. Chompers do have a weird hierarchy system, but it isn't too far apart from how us bugs do it. They have their mother, we have our queen. Maybe it's because she is still young, but she seems very peaceful. Hmm, I suppose there is some sort of Im imprinting in this chomper too. Doesn't seem like it will turn violent. You brought the seed here? Would you care to name it? R really, can we? It's, uh, it's only fair we owe this incredible specimen to you. I'm bad with names anyway. Go on, name it. How should they name- is this gonna be a party member? <laughs> of some kind? Hmm. How should I name this Chomper? I guess Chompy is fine. I'm not gonna... I'm not in the mood for thinking up a name, I think. Hmm. Yeah, this is fine. Chompy, are you sure? Yeah. Very well, now I have another favor to ask you. Ugh, you're gonna have to start paying. This task is the payment! I want you to go into the field with this chomper and gather data on, its, on their behaviors. How's that a reward? You want us to babysit a dangerous monster? Don't call it a monster. <laughs> she seems to have taken a liking to you three, uh, and should mo be mostly harmless. Maybe if she lives alongside bugs, she could grow to become a peaceful mother chopper. We don't care if you don't agree, V. We are doing it. It's too cute to leave here. Fine. I guess it is a bit cute. Isn't it? I cannot wait to share stories with it. It's settled. Come on over and take her out for a walk while I can. Just bring her back into that vat whenever, too. Count on us, Professor. We will ensure a bright future for the Chomper. Take Chompy carefully. It's quickly, uh, it's quickly earned my love. Um. Sure. So. What does Chompy do? Say it twice, we'll protect her with all we've got. Please watch over if you're interested. I can change the name you want to, would you like to change the name? Alright, okay. <laughs> really hope that this thing can't die because that would be. That would ruin my life. 
Special ribbon you can wear uh, or give to your pets is on sale. <laughs> give it to me. Who to give it to? Who to give it to indeed. Okay. So can I not give it? Well, I might be able to give it eventually, but... Intriguing. Let's go and buy that plot of land that I uh, want. Hello. <laughs> and over the keys! Hey, thanks for turn. Here's the key. Flower key. The key to the red house in the Anthony main plaza. Bought from uh, from Beetle or Beat or Beatty, whatever, at a discount. You really helped me out. I can find I can fund my next project with this. It's nice helping you. If it gets off the ground, you three can come in for free. For real. Really? Yeah. I never forget a favor. Take care, okay? Hmm. It's good not to be homeless anymore. Yeah, see you around. You still say the same things? Yeah, the idiot scope. I really wonder what this freaking plant is gonna do for me. <laughs> and I really hope it doesn't die because I would be. Yeah, I'd be beyond sad. Okay, there's no other new badges over here, so I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> Goodbye. Or some new metals, my apologies. So I need red paint. I need to go over to the golden settlement for that. But we, my friends, are gonna do that in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Just I was playing this game. I was playing Back Fables, the Everlasting Sapling. And next episode we're gonna go and do... Like, we're gonna go over to the Golden Settlement and see if we can help out... Uh, V's sister. Come on.